In this video, I'm going to show you a really good setup for the play Double Post out of the Colts playbook in Madden 23. If you want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and it gets you access to all of our ebooks as well as all of our updates to those ebooks. Again, you can join that by clicking the link down in the description. But let's take a look at this play out of Double Post in the Colts playbook. So the setup for this play that I like to use, it's going to be really good against man, really good against zone, um, is a very versatile setup. We're just going to streak the slot receiver, we're going to drag the solo receiver, and we're going to block our running back. So you see this is what the play art is going to look like. And essentially we're going to create a high-low concept in the middle of the field. And so what's going to happen is, first and foremost, this tight end quick to the flat is always your first read. If you can throw that quick to the flat, you want to throw that route. The route out of double posts is probably the best flat route in Madden uh, from the tight end perspective, especially in bunch. See, I can just free form it outside, get out myself a quick you know, 10, uh, 10 to 15 yards out of that game. Now, if I go to, let's say I go to Mike Blitz, uh, zero and I try to send some cover zero pressure at the opponent What I like to block my running back too is just to give me some extra time against these pressures But as you can see here, I can throw it right to him a lot of times that creates an auto Broken tackle uh, where he can get out and continue to run up field Now let's say that they you know are able to cover the tight end it might look something like this and they're able to get out there on the tight end. Then what we're able to do is we're able to use this streak to kind of pull the middle third defender, and then we can throw this post in the middle of the field against man coverage. Now, you can throw this post against a variety of different uh, defenses. It's actually one of the hardest routes, I think, in the game to consistently use her because of the way that it runs. And you see here that middle third gets cleared out. We throw that in that little pocket, and it's wide open against man coverage. Really good route uh, for being able to attack man. Uh, another coverage that is popular this year is this basic bracket concept on a Mike Blitz Zero. And what you'll see here is when he's cross manned, this route is going to be fairly consistent as well as still being able to attack man coverage. Sometimes you'll get random bumps on the slot where you can always kind of peek that up the seam against man or you have your post route coming underneath so there's a lot of versatility in the concept and the concept attacks man in zone well it also spaces the field well which is what i'm about to show you from a user perspective it makes it really hard uh for the user to consistently stop it now every now and then he'll get like that random bump animation if against off coverage man sometimes that depends on you know a lot of factors it can depend on um, you know, the way this game plays this year, there's just a lot of random uh, bumping in man coverage. This route, for whatever reason, though, I think typically is going to consistently beat man. You see right there, kind of in that little pocket, and you can kind of squeeze that in uh, between zones. So if you think about it, what do they have to do with their user? Well, they have to use her uh, the post route. So they have to use her the post route. Um, they might want to use it in, you know, several different ways, but this is a basic defense that they probably are going to have to have uh, to stop this. And so they have to use the post route. What that leaves open is the middle of the field for this little underneath check down drag route. And the drag route is super simple. But another thing that a lot of people like to do uh, in bunch is they like to put this guy on the left into an outside third to try to counter like stuff like C routes and stuff. So if they put the guy outside third, this is not going to take away the drag because he's not going to match onto the drag across the middle of the field. And I get so many reads open just with that little animation right there. Now, you might be asking, okay, well, this is really good against zone or uh, man, but how is this fair against zone? It doesn't look that great. It's actually really good against zone because of how it spaces the field. So if they hard flat on the bunch side, look for this quick throw high ball up at the seam. Um, that is something that you could throw. If they, you know, again, it, it does depend a little bit on the cover shell, but let's say, for example, you know, you're playing someone and they're giving you like a double Mabel concept, their user's over here, maybe their user, you know, goes to the left side or vacates the middle of the field at the snap of the wall. If that happens, this is definitely, you know, a clean quick throw against, you know, zone. And if they don't have men's zone knockouts on their safeties, that could be a potential pretty nice little route combo for you. So against double Mabel, you have that. Uh, another thing, another reason why this play is really good uh, 
specifically against Double Mabel is because, again, the user's in the middle of the field, so he has to make a decision. Who am I going to go guard, right? Um, so let's say he kind of plays almost like a third or mid-read where he carries the streak and he goes to the post. Then, if you think about it, the whole middle of the field over the middle is going to be wide open. I can throw that right in that little pocket over the middle of the field. So now the user, again, is in conflict. He has to choose who am I going to guard. Am I going to guard the middle of the field uh, underneath or am I going to guard the middle of the field over the top? If he chooses to guard the middle of the field underneath, even if they have a third on the field, it's still going to be pretty problematic because he'll stay down on this drag and then I can throw this. Again, you kind of want to wait on it just a little bit longer, um, but you can throw that post route over the middle you know, to be able to attack that coverage. So, again, it just kind of depends a little bit on what they're doing defensively. But if they're running a coverage like a roll coverage to the bunch side on a zone, this is really good uh, for attacking that because you'll see right here, these random bumps are just crazy to me. But you can throw it right in that little pocket and be able to beat the coverage that way. Double post, one of the best plays in Madden. It's a great little setup here. Uh, I'll show it to you real quick against cover four drop. If they are running cover four drop, same kind of thought process. Um, again, the user just has to choose who's he going to guard. Is he going to guard the post route or is he going to guard the drag route? Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, head down to the description. Go join the Patreon. It's only $10. Gets you access to everything over there, all of our ebooks, all of our updates. Head down to the description and go check it out.